So far, we've looked at a few examples of how to apply the Huffman algorithm to produce an optimal code using a binary code alphabet. So when A is 0 and 1, say, two elements. So in the case of, of B equals 2. But Huffman's algorithm can also be applied to generate optimal codes for arbitrary B, you know, 3, 4, 5, 6, whatever. And so in this video, we're going to take a look at a couple examples of how to apply Huffman for more general B. So I'm just going to do an example, a couple examples with B equals 2. And I think it'll be probably pretty clear how to generalize to more general B. So let's take this first example here that we did. We looked at this example with 0 0.35, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.15, and 1. And we generated an optimal binary symbol code here. And so let's take this, this, same, this same PMFP over these five symbols. And let's, instead of generating a uh, binary symbol code, let's do a ternary symbol code. So we'll do B equals 3. So this will be our third example. And now we'll have B equals 3. So our P was, it was 0.35. 0.2, maybe make a little more space, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.15, and 0.1. And so this, the, the procedure is, is very similar. And in this case, so this, this will be sort of uh, an easy case so that we have the, the probabilities are already sorted. And we're going to take three minimal probabilities. So this one's going to be have to be included. And also, so 0 0.1, 0 0.15, and we have to take one of the 0.2s. So let's take this one. And instead of joining three, we uh, instead of joining two, we join those three for the case of B equals three. We add them together. We get 0 0.25 plus 0.2 is 0.45. And now we have to combine three minimal uh, elements again and in this case there are only three remaining so we certainly will have to take those and let's just check to make sure if we add we get 0.55 and 0.45 so that um, sums up to one and we're all good and now before we labeled these um, each of these sort of branches coming down with a symbol one of our code symbols and before we just did zero and one and now we'll have 0, 1, and 2, say, or whatever the symbols of your code alphabet happen to be. So let's take them. So we'll take you know, our code alphabet. It's going to have three symbols. And let's say that there's 0, 1, and 2. 0, 1, and 2. So we label these guys in that way. And we determine the code words just like before. We start at the root. This is our root. And we get code word of 0, 1, 2, 0. 2, 1, and 2, 2. So those are our code words. And continuing as before, let's let's now compute the length. So so that's I mean so that's the Huffman procedure that gives you your code words. And this is guaranteed to be an optimal ternary code. So ternary is for the case of B equals 3. So but let's go ahead and, and compute the the expected code word length this guy. So the lengths now are 1, 1, 2, 2, and 2. And if we compute the product of the P's and the L's, we get 0 0.35, 0 0.2, 0 0.4, uh, 0 0.3, 0 0.2. Uh, add those up, and what do we get? So we're going to get uh, let's see, 0 0.5 plus 0 0.6 is 1.1, 1 .1, uh, 1.45. So the length, the expected code word length is 1.45. And before, when we had b equals 2, we called it bits. And the, the, the corresponding thing for b equals 3, the units, is called trits for try. Trits for, for try for tree. For, for three, rather. And the entropy, now we have to compute the base three entropy. We have B equals three. So base three entropy of this probability distribution, I have pre-computed it, and it is 1.3891 trits. 
Now, if we compare this, so we have 1.45 and 1.39 or so. So let's compare that to the binary case. Binary was 2.25 and 2. Point, let me copy and paste that. Copy. Compare down here. Paste. So the binary case, we had that the 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 length here was two, uh, two point two five, and in the ternary case, it's one point four five. So it's less. Now you know it's always important to know what units you're using when you're com when you're talking about the length or the expected length or so of of something. And in this case, since we're using more code symbols or we have a, a larger code alphabet then we can get a smaller expected length. And the reason is because the, the base uh, or the units in some sense are different. And so, so like for example here, when we compare the entropy, the entropy using the base three is smaller because we're using different units. We're using trits instead of bits. And of course you can convert between these different bases by multiplying by the appro appropriate constant to change the base of the log. It just, the constant goes through and just changes the base of the log. Okay, so that gives you one example, but let's do another one because this does not actually capture the full flavor of what you have to do to do Huffman for higher Bs because everything just sort of happened to work out nicely in this case. But in general, you can have something slightly different happen. So let's change this one. Let's instead do the following. Let's split up. So we're going to have for our next example, let's call it D. So what can happen? Let's change this 0.35 and let's split up one of these 0.2s. So we have 0 0.2, 0 0.15, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, and 0.1. So we have one, so we have a couple more point ones instead of a point two. And now let's see what happens if we try to do the same thing that we did above. So we, what did, you know, we just started combining these guys. So let's, let's, let's just start doing that. So if we combine uh, three of the smallest, we have to do, do three again. So, I'm, so we will get point three and now we have three smallest guys two point two point one five and point three. And then we, we add these and we get 0.35 plus 0.3, we get 0.65. But now, oh no, we only have two left. So what do we do? What do we do? We can't combine three symbols. And the answer is that this is, the, this is not the correct thing to do. You cannot approach, you, this is not the correct procedure for B equals three. We have to do something different because, uh, because it doesn't work out just right in terms of combining things. So what we have to do is we have to modify our probability distribution by padding it with zeros. So we have to add another zero here. And in this case, that will be enough to change things. So maybe I should make that blue to match. So we add a zero. Now, if we do the same thing, so now we have to include our zero as a minimal guy. Now we combine 0 0.15, 0 0.1, and 0.2 we get 0.3.45 and it all works out this time we have just the right number at the end we have three at the end to combine and we get uh, we get yes we get 1.0 and we do just the same thing we label these 0 1 2 0 1 2 0 1 2 we get our code words 0 1 2 0 Two one, two, two two zero, two two one, and two two two. It's guaranteed to be guaranteed to be prefix. We can just see that right off the tree. And I won't go through the whole thing, but maybe as, as an exercise, if you want to, if you want to compute what the expected length is of this guy, just to verify for yourself, I'll write down the answer. So it's going to be one point six five trits the expected length and the base 3 entropy which is the appropriate thing to compare against is 1.5152 trits trits 
So, uh, so the procedure in general, when you have um, a base which is different than two, is that you have to pad the probability distribution with some extra zeros. And the number of zeros that you have to add will depend on the base, on, it will depend on B, and on the number of elements in your original distribution. But rather than, I mean, I could give you an explicit formula for how many you have to pad, you know, what, what you have to get it to. But I think rather than just, you know, giving you the explicit formula, the, the thing to remember is just you have to add enough zeros so that when you, uh, when you get to the last step that you have B remaining. So every node in the tree, if you think about the children as going, as being, uh, going up to have the children, that uh, every node except for the leaves has, has three children. And it's easy to compute what, how many you're going to have to add because at any given step, you are taking three guys. So if, if B equals three, you're taking three guys and you're combining them into one. So you're always subtracting two from the number. So in the case of B equals three, you know, you would have to make sure that after you, you subtract two, you subtract two, you subtract two, and so on. And then eventually you end at three. So uh, it's going to have to be an, an odd number in that case for B equals three. But in more general B, you would have, you know, you're taking B and, and reducing them to one. And so you have to just figure out how many you have to add. Okay, I think that's probably clear. And so we get we get our code words here. And just one l final point of clarification is that, um, so the code, this was, this was our original P that we were interested in, and we padded it with the zero. So of course the code for our original elements that we were interested in is just, is just these guys. And the, the code words for the padded zeros, we, we don't really need, we just sort of throw them out. Okay, so that's how to do Huffman in the case of a more general B, and it is also guaranteed to give you an optimal code for that B.